Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm Pat Nichols. We're going to talk about impalement and entrapments of an industrial type machine. You can see that we have a patient here. He has his hand trapped. The first thing we need to do is make the scene safe. We need to lock out, tag out, and any type of machine. Uh, it could be more than one type of machine running it. We need to make sure that all of the power is secured in this machine. As you can see here, we have removed the access panel, so we now have access and we have the ability to see exactly how the patient is trapped. Of course, EMS will be here treating the patient. Our goal here is to attempt to do as minimal amount of movement and efficient as we possibly can. You can see here that I have placed some wedges. That is to capture our progress and make sure that machine does not move when we start manipulating him. One of the easiest way to do is dismantle the machine. It doesn't always work. Sometimes we have to go revert to uh, another plan, cutting or using torches or things like that. But as you can see, we have access to uh, bolts. We can start dismantling this very simply uh, with a couple hand tools. We always have to be patient and not rush through these things. It's important to take your time because every time we manipulate this machine, it could be doing other harm, other movements. So we have to be taking our time and making sure that uh, every action that we take is for the patient. I'm Pat Nichols. Thanks for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes.